Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of my Wolfsburg career mode. We're about to find out if we have managed to sign those two players. And actually, by the way, I've just seen this as well, if I can find it here. Look at this. Hummels has said he wants to leave. Now, I'm not going to sign him because there's no way I'll be able to afford him. And also, I don't really need him. Sure, he's probably better than both my defenders combined. But Miranda and, um, and Vertonghen are very good defenders, so I'm happy to, to leave them be. But I would have loved to sign Hummels. And maybe I will in a different career mode at some point, maybe in FIFA 16. But either way, let's find out if I've made the other two signings of Kramer and Diekmeyer. So let's advance here. And see if we get lucky. And wow, look at that. They both accepted straight away there. So Diekmeyer, welcome to the club, son. And the same with Christoph Kramer, who will go straight into the first team. Because Xhaka, he's had a similar season to Dost in terms of last year he was absolutely fantastic. And this year he's been okay in and out of form, you know. I'm looking for consistency, especially with the Champions League. So, um, oh shit, I haven't done Arnold's wage. Let's do that now before I forget. I want to make sure all my players are happy, especially someone like Arnold, who is an integral part of my team when, you know, there's injuries or if I just need to bring on someone in the second half. And he does a really good job when he does come on. So I'm going to give him his 60,000, give him it for three years more, because why not? And I will give him, I'll try and keep him on the uh, squad rotation player role there. That should be absolutely fine. So now we've got two new players. Let's play them in the next game. Here is my lineup, guys. We've got Diekmeyer in at right back. We've got Kramer in at CDM. And also Clemens at Cam. So it's a slightly different side. But I really wanted to give the two new players their debuts. Here's Diekmeyer. Let's test his pace out. He's ridiculously quick for a big guy as well. Look at him go. See if we can get around him. Oh, look at this. This is ridiculous. Through to Hulk maybe. That's actually a really good ball as well. Right, we'll take the corner. Great start by Diekmeyer on his debut. I haven't really touched the ball with Kramer yet. So... We'll see how he gets on as well later on in the game. But let's get the ball in here. That's a good delivery. Hang on. Go on. Oh, man. That's where I do need Bastos. Oh, 31 yards. You know what time this is. It's Hulk smash time. Please score this. Please. Oh, my God. He almost did as well. I didn't really put enough power in it. And that's basically what the Hulk smash should be. God damn it. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. I've hit the post from there. Hulk, that is miss of the season, surely. That is a guaranteed goal. Look at the amount of goal he's got there to aim for. That was terrible. Oh, over the top. Oh, look at that. Come on, Sherla. You've got the pace. Keep running. Keep running. Tap it. Oh, my God. I'm missing so many easy chances. What is going on right now? Another nil-nil in the first half. Honestly, like, just recently, I'm not scoring enough goals. I'm anticipating that from this corner, I'm going to win it. Like so. Right, now, counter-attack, please. Let's go. Come on, Scherler. Oh, oh, still going. Nice heavy touch here. Lukaku's getting in the box. We'll try and get inside with the Ronaldo chop. Oh, wow. He just left his leg in there. I've just won a penalty, guys. It's a terrible tackle from Romeo there from my Valencia career mode, remember. And it's on Clemens right in the box there. They're making a change as well. But this is my chance to get the goal that I thoroughly deserved. I didn't even see it was a penalty. I thought it was just a free kick or something uh, against me. And then suddenly it's, yeah, a, free, uh, a penalty. So let's put this one away, please. Bottom right corner. No. It's not over yet. Come on. Oh, okay, it is now. God damn it. Another triple change. This time, I'm going much more attacking. Maxim's coming on. Uh, the arena out on the right side. Game-changing substitutions right here. Please don't concede straight after doing them, though. That'd be just really annoying. Right, okay. Come on, we've got 15 minutes. Is this game destined to be another 90-minute winner? We'll soon find out. Lukaku's in space. It might not be a 90th-minute winner. It could be 86th minute, but clearly not. Over the top. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. That didn't just happen. In the 90th minute, as predicted, but it didn't go in. That is so, so frustrating. But what can I say? I guess I used up my luck in that 90th minute winner in the last episode. And it wasn't to be this game, but we'll move on. 
Anyway, we're into the transfer window deadline day now, and uh, we're going to see if anything happens in the last 10 hours. Oh, Dos Santos has gone to Lazio. Two hours remaining. Any other big ones? Silicon's gone to Valencia. That's a big, big deal. And that's it, guys. The biggest deal was 24 million for Dos Santos to Lazio. And I didn't realise this. We're top of the league right now. I didn't realise. So after that win against Bayern in the last episode, uh, clearly Dortmund dropped points somewhere. Even though we just drew that game there, we are two points clear. So could have been more, but I'm still happy with that. Okay, guys, as promised, it's now time for another squad report. It's now after the January transfer window. I'd like to do one just after. Uh, we have Benaglio, who's gone up by three this season. That is why I didn't go for another keeper, remember? And he's been doing absolutely fine. Young, since being injured, is actually starting to drop a few stats, but he's already gone up by one, so it's not really going to affect him too much, hopefully. Miranda's gone up by two. Vertonghen up by one. Rodriguez is finally starting to grow. Cannot believe it hasn't been sooner. Xhaka has stayed the same again. Same with Gustavo and De Bruyne there. Hulk has gone up by one with it with, with just dribbling and crossing going up. That's so weird. Lukaku starting to grow as well since joining. We've got Scherler up by one. Embolo still only 72. Maxim is 76 still. Was it 77? Yeah, 77. Arnold's gone up by one. Kanoka's gone up by one. Gilavogi's up by two this year, of course. Trash gone up by one in his aggression, but that's it for him. Uh, Viarina, the most informed player, along with Scherler maybe in my team, is uh, now 30 years old. Wow, and he's gone up by one. Clemens has gone up by three already. Huber's gone up by two. Zawada's gone up by three. Schuler has stayed the same. I'm surprised at that. I thought he'd be a lot better than he is. Uh, Thwelke's up by two. Kramer has obviously just joined, so there won't be any difference there. Closer has gone up by one. Castiles has stayed the same. Diekmeyer looks like he'll be going up soon, and he made a really good debut. I really liked him. Schaefer has gone down by two now. Uh, Zhang has gone up on loan. So has Sprenger up by three. Seguin up by two. So over the board, we've only got two players that are losing stats. One is Schaefer and one is, of course, Young, who is injured right now. So it's understandable. But when he gets back, I'll be putting him straight into the first team and we'll get those stats back up again. But Benaglio, surely that's the biggest surprise. Up by three at the age of 32. Keepers are just broken in this game. Anyway, it's time for the final match of the episode, and it is Schalke. They are currently fifth in the league, so it's a big a big game for them because they have a game in hand, so they could actually move up to fourth above Leverkusen. One of the toughest places to come in the league, the Veltins Arena. Schalke are a very strong team. They've got some cracking young players that I would love to steal. Oh, are you kidding me? Every fucking time I've got to stop doing this I mustn't pass my goal kicks I just oh, despair with my brain sometimes come on let's just get straight back into this game yes this is nice oh Hulk oh oh please finish that oh my god I got lucky I got so lucky guys it's in off the keeper I'm still so frustrated about the goal I've conceded but at least I've got it back nice and early on Back to one all now, and I got lucky. It's gone through his arms, honestly. That's Hulk's sixth goal in his first season as well. It's not too bad. Come on, Hulk. Same again. Same as ever. Over the top. Oh, look at that to Schurler. Ooh, the rebound's come out here to Kramer. Can we get past him? Yes, we can. And him. Get the cross in, maybe. Oh, it's a good cross, Schurler. To De Bruyne. What the fuck? Why did I pass it back? I didn't mean to do that. It's all right, we've still got it. We're still going here. And I've lost it. Right, that's going to be end of first half now, isn't it? Right, let's just get into the second half. Here goes Dietmeyer once again. I'm just using his pace like an absolute whore. Go on. Oh, it's working. Lukaku, he's through. And I've missed it. Another chance is gone. Counter-attack time. Come on, Sherla, pick out Hulk. What a ball that is. Perfection. Come on, Hulk. You've got to do something here. Please. Oh, 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 what a finish in the top left corner. Is that going to be it? Is that going to be the three points in the bag? We'll soon find out. Come on, lads. Hold on. Let's get another goal as well. No way. Lukaku's through a goal. He's got to finish this. He's quicker than Huades. No way. He's catching up. He's missed it. That is ridiculous, but it doesn't matter, thankfully. We've won this game, guys. It's three points. 
and in the next episode you'll see where that puts us in the league so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please do leave a like and i will see you in the next episode soon